Hello everyone and welcome back to Raise Aerospace and Kerbal Space Program 2 where we have our first rescue mission of the construction of the International Space Station, probably the first of many. And we have a glitchy shuttle in orbit around Kerbin where there are four Kerbals who need to be rescued. We are not going to dock with this shuttle, we will need them to EVA out and into this, which is a Mark 1 pod on top of Mark 1-3 pod on top of a service module on top of a hopefully reusable launch vehicle. Uh, this has the biggest landing legs, the new landing legs that they added. Uh, we have some fins for orientation during re-entry and I hope they don't mess us up during launch. And then we have four swivels, four thuds, and a skipper at the bottom. And that's just to keep things tight. We could have used other engines, but I'm gonna try this out. Now we have no re-entry heating, uh, so that makes things easier. We also don't have air brakes, which sort of makes things harder. Uh, I'm not prioritizing the return of this. Our main thing is to get the Kerbals back, so let us get started. And launch. Okay. This is the first time I'm trying this launcher. I don't have a name for it or anything. And we will see. I'm not sure it's... Oh gosh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. I'm not sure whether it's a good idea or not. It's got a very low thrust weight ratio off the start, so that's not ideal. And it's got a lot of lag too, which is also not ideal. Okay, we are past the speed of sound, finally. Well, the backwards fins haven't done anything to hurt our aerodynamics as far as I can tell, so that's good. But are they going to do any good on the way back down, assuming we get to that point, is another question. Yeah, we're going to have to tilt north. So I'm trying to correct the inclination here. But the shuttle is also in a low orbit. We'll have to keep that in mind. Okay, as far as the inclination correction, I think I'll let the payload do the rest. And we're going to finish this burn at Apoapsis for efficiency's sake. The atmospheric lag with this was tremendous. Once we got out of the atmosphere, it's much smoother. I don't know what I've done to this to cause so much lag. Is it the landing gear? The, I mean, we've flown stuff with fins without such lag before. But is it the location of the fins? I don't know. Maybe the landing gear, though. I'm suspicious of the landing gear because it's the first time I'm using it. We could shut down the thuds to get better efficiency though. You know, it occurs to me that we haven't saved enough fuel to set down safely. Alright. We're gonna control from up here. We do have a probe core at the top, of course. And separation. Okay, it's separated. Well, we'll just leave this in orbit for now. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we'll just leave that in orbit for now and catch up with it later. We'll do the rescue first. There's no way this has 4,423 meters per second. Um, yeah, it's just a little terrier with a fuel tank attached. It's not, it's not that good. I think it has to do with that previous stage, and this says negative one and negative two. Okay, let's proceed to the shuttle. If we can get the shuttle crew back, we will proceed with the next mission, which is to deliver the P6 truss to the International Space Station, and that will give the space station its first solar truss. Okay, ignition. Oh, I think it just got rid of our stage. Gosh darn it. Or no, uh, it hasn't got rid of it. It's still there. It's just uh, moved to a uh, junk, uh, junk orbit. It's going to crash into the surface. I guess we should follow it then. Now it's got negative periapsis. Well, I'm not going to do anything about that. We're going to make sure it's holding retrograde. Uh, hopefully it's controlling from here. It's got... Oh, look! 
It's good. I got the same problem as the shuttle too. One of the landing gear decided to float off. Just one though. Interesting. You know what? Uh, so originally I thought that the problem with the shuttle occurred when you had a decoupler in the cargo bay. I have revised that. I think it has something to do with another spacecraft moving outside of physics range of one spacecraft. So when our payload moved outside of physics range from this, perhaps during time warp, that's what caused the problem. And for some reason the problem is has something to do with one part dislocating. I don't know. I don't know how that works. But, and also the, the orbit changing. So eventually this is going to get messed up badly, but let's find out. It's not showing any delta V down here, but it does show some delta V up there, but not much. And we have three legs. Ooh. Controllability when we have this issue of a part floating off and its orbit being messed up has been bad. But this is a lot heavier than the landing gear. The landing gear is pretty darn heavy though. I'm mostly interested to see if it's going to flip around or whether this is uh, okay orientation. Re-entry heating is not a thing right now, so we know that's not going to be a problem. I don't know if it can slow down soon enough, especially with this periapsis. It's not going to have much time in the atmosphere, so can it slow down or does the lack of air brakes mean that we really can't have this slowing down? Fitting this sort of thing with parachutes is another way to go. It's slowing down, but probably not soon enough. As far as holding steady goes, it seems fine. Not flipping around or anything. It's maxing out some controls though. Got to turn on RCS. I'll deploy the landing gear. Ooh, those casings clip a bit. They're nice landing gear. Not exactly what I would envision. Ooh, there was a little bit of a knock there. Not exactly what I'd envision. Not slick or anything. But maybe they act as air brakes. Ooh, maybe not in the good way. I guess we are unstable because we have one missing. Well, we don't have enough Delta V to completely kill our speed, but it'll be interesting to see what happens when we impact. Okay, the music is becoming irrit uh, not irritating. Interesting. Oops. Too early. There wasn't as much lag coming down this time. Maybe the pod has all the lag. It's, it's a correct explosion. It's a fair explosion. No, no question about that. We can refine that later. And we do have a intercept in uh, at under a kilometer. And I'm going to take it. Our periapsis is barely outside of the atmosphere now. Okay, there is the shuttle. Well, where it thinks the shuttle is and where the shuttle actually is are two different places. You can sort of see the shuttle there and the icon over here. And again, that's probably because of the displaced part. I think this is close enough. The Kerbal should be able to handle this. Okay. Well, it's in the dark, but we should probably just proceed. Um, so, this is obviously not where the shuttle is, but sort of there. Uh, there. But it doesn't matter. We can just say EVA. And they go out the side hatch, that's good, because we're covering up the back. Okay, and when they EVA, we focus on them, so that's okay too. Girls do have SAS, apparently. Okay, grab. Well, board somewhere. Alright, next. Well, we'll just EVA them like this. Samni. Sorry this is in the dark, but I don't feel like hanging around the problematic shuttle. Well, Kerbal's standing on it. That's interesting, they stand on stuff like they've got... Oh, that's interesting. 
there's possibilities here, but I don't want him to stand. What did you just do? What was that sound? <laughs> he's he's uh, walking on the surface there. Okay, board. All right, two, four, four right now. They've got like magnetic boots. I think the hatch is actually here. I see handholds in a sort of hatch-like thing. Okay, grab. Board. Hey, okay, that's three. And Furmond. And we have lost control over this. Should we have the or- I just think we're going to use the tracking station to get rid of it. I don't think we want to try and deorbit it. I should have put a controller on there so it could be controlled without a crew, but... Now, considering the operant theory that it has something to do with two vessels in render range time warping away from each other, potentially, we are not going to time warp away from each other. Okay, grab and board. Oh, I think it's because it's full, is that right? Because the Mark 1-3 is full, but there should be a slot in the Mark 1 pod, though. Okay, board? Okay. They are all in. So yes. I think that's, uh, that's the shuttle's little node. We are going to go away from it. We'll let it slowly go away. Maybe. I don't know if that's the idea. I'm also not sure what the actual render ranges are. It's not the same as Kerbal Space Program 1 after all. But I'm going to go with two kilometers being safe. So, we are going to time warp now. And try and bring these folks back. This is a very capable ship. It actually has a lot of Delta V. Not that much though. Okay, we have a suborbital periapsis, and I am going to dump the trunk. Okay. It's interesting in the Mark 1-3 pod that we can look so clearly through the windows and see them. It's an interesting feature. And we have a chance of getting closer to KSC right now. You can sort of see the one in the Mark 1 pod too, but not very clearly. Well, we are coming down here. So, not that far. Okay, we have pre-deployment of parachutes. And they have inflated. Well, it's below 9 meters per second, so it'll be good enough, but just barely. And... Okay, splash down. Recover vessel. Absolutely. Tracking station. Let us check on our station to make sure that it is safe still. Uh, let's destroy the shuttle first. We can't control it. We just gotta say destroy. Okay, now we're gonna check on the station. To make sure it's okay. I'm going to try renaming it again. Someday. Maybe it's too long a name or something. No, it doesn't like saving it. Okay, how about ISS? Is that okay? No? No. Alright, fine. Let me just control it, please. So it's here. And our next step is to add the P6 truss to this docking port up here. That's where it temporarily is until the rest of the truss is built out. Okay, checking our struts. Our struts are connected. Our fuel line is connected. We're a little bit late, but I think we can correct that on the fly. So I think we'll just launch rather than time warp or anything like that. We're just going to launch Bob. <laughs> We're just going to launch Bob. He's the one that's stuck in. What can I do? Okay. And twang and launch I made the truss as big as I could given the cargo bay space and that's basically 
what determined the size of the trusses. Oh my god, it did the thing. Oh, uh, that's not good. Well, nope. Even restarting my computer does not save the shuttle's wing. And Bob seems maybe not present either. So I'm going to relaunch the mission from the save and see if that helps. Hopefully we can actually do the mission. But the autosaves seem to maybe not be very reliable. Okay, we are attempting a relaunch of STS-97 with just Bob Kerman. And we are back to exactly where we were when we attempted to launch previously. And hopefully it'll work out. So, the ignition. And I'm gonna skip the countdown. And launch. Okay, roll sort of complete. I don't know what causes glitches to happen. Clearly my other theories do not necessarily bear out. And we are trying to correct our inclination again. So we're going further north than necessary initially. Should have plenty of external tank fuel for it. Booster set. Oh. oh, they seem to clear the wings. Maybe them knocking the wings is good luck for the wings or something. I don't know. Okay, forcing the inclination right here. Really using a lot of the fuel, but that's fine. Yeah, this time I think I might use all of the external tank. I've got to roll over now. It wants to roll over anyway. Okay, well, that's good enough. Okay, separation. And RCS up. I think we can just complete orbit here for now. Station's behind us, but we'll still go with catching up to it, so we'll keep ourselves in a very low orbit. Okay, good enough for me. I'll turn SAS off before saving, just in case. Oh no, we've got the thing where the station is staying still. Okay, let's remind the station that it's supposed to move. Okay, station is intact. It just needs to uh, do the whole moving thing. Alright, hopefully that reminds it. Okay, we still have the wings attached. Okay, we are now approaching with a fairly close approach. It's sad that it doesn't tell us our distance to the target here. Okay. So right here, we still have wings. I'm gonna save. Okay. I'm just gonna park it. I'm going to top off the RCS and then I'm going to save. Okay, now I'm going to undock this. And try and get the shuttle away from it. Okay, the shuttle is away from it, and not disintegrating. Right, we are controlling the truss. Okay, nothing appears wrong with the shuttle at the moment. I tried to put the RCS close to where I thought the center line was, but I don't think we've done a very good job of that. And I'm just going to wait. I'm not time warping. I think my target docking port's on this side, so that's convenient. Now, once I dock this, I do not know what the safest way to get back to the shuttle is. Should we just go via the square brackets? So directly switch vessels within render range? Should we go to the tracking station? Should we go via the map? Hmm. 
so many possibilities. And in this axis, we're also sort of off. Okay, hopefully that's good enough. Well, I feel magnetic. All right. All right, we are here. We will extend the big panels. I trust we can retract them again later. They are on the outside of the truss like this. Oh, they have to be each extended individually. So that's the first of our big solar trusses. I haven't really used these panels yet. They're the new bigger panels. Maybe you should have doubled them up, but they are sort of already doubled, so it would make a different look. All right, well, I'm going to try to change to the shuttle directly. The shuttle is here. Um, any wing problems? Not so far. I'm going to point retrograde. We may be okay. Bob might be in luck for once. Coming down. OMS engine's on. We'll get into a standby orbit first. And we are time warping. Oh, there's there's the station. Don't know what the target marker is doing, but the station is certainly behind us. Right? That doesn't make any sense what it's doing on a nav ball. I'm gonna deliberately waste some fuel because we were carrying too much right now. I'm gonna untarget. Uh, well, it still says uh, it's not targeted, so the station isn't targeted. Maybe that explains why the target marker is going all over the place on my <laughs> nav ball. But actually, it doesn't explain that because maybe then there shouldn't be a target and it shouldn't be showing me a little target marker on the nav ball. Okay, that's close enough to the standby orbit. We will go with that. Okay, I think we'll take this orbit. Last time we overshot, so this time I don't want to go too much lower than that. So this time we'll just start the retro burn earlier. Now, if anything, I want to sort of go long so that we have the land in front of us. If we go short, we might end up in the water, which I don't want. Okay, a little bit lower on the PE. He's all the way over there though. Okay, we'll try 26. 26 is always a good number. We are entering the atmosphere. It looks like we're going to be over water though, but perhaps we'll with enough ability to turn towards the land. We have an impact location and it is coming in. I wonder if I can try to roll towards the space center at all. I'm not trying to do too much. Eh, closer, but I don't think it's going to work out. I said a jet engine's on it would do the trick, probably, but we want to do better than that. Trying for what land we can. Dumping fuel. Maybe I should take this stretch here. It tends to lose speed very quickly. Well, Bob can head straight for the beach after this. Landing gear coming down. Okay. Trying to touch down gently. Oop, a little bit rough. Some cacti. 
but uh oh it's rolling backwards it's rolling backwards stop all right well sort of dry around here but yeah bob can hit the beach and we can recover this so better than before but still needs work okay station is intact and in the same orbit it's practically miraculous. So, with that, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please do press like. If you have any comments or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. And I will see you next time.